Chapter 1 Understanding Goodbyes In the little town of Brightville, there lived a boy named Max. Max was known for being always curious and cheerful, with a smile that could light up the room. He had deep blue eyes that sparkled with excitement whenever he discovered something new. One sunny morning, Max woke up feeling a bit sad. Today was the day he had to say goodbye to his best friend, Lily. Lily's family was moving to a faraway city, and Max knew he wouldn't see her again for a long time. Goodbyes were always hard, and Max couldn't understand why they were so important. As Max made his way to Lily's house, he couldn't help but feel a knot in his stomach. He knew he had to show respect and gratitude to Lily for their friendship, but he didn't know how to do it. Finally, he arrived at her house, where Lily's family was busy packing their belongings into a big moving truck. Lily saw Max standing near the front door, looking unsure. She rushed over to him and gave him a tight hug. I'm going to miss you so much, Max, Lily said with tears in her eyes. But goodbyes are important, because they show how much we care about each other. Max wiped a tear from his cheek and asked, But why can't we just say see you later instead of goodbye? It sounds so final. Lily smiled gently and replied, Goodbyes allow us to appreciate the time we spent together and the memories we created. It's a way to express gratitude for all the fun and support we shared. Saying goodbye doesn't mean we won't see each other again. It just means we are sending each other off with love and kindness. Max pondered Lily's words for a moment. He realized that saying goodbye was a way to show respect to the people we care about. It was a way to honor the bond they shared and acknowledge how much they meant to each other. As Max and Lily stood side by side, they began to reminisce about their adventures together. They laughed and cried, filling the air with warmth and love. Their hearts were heavy, but their spirits were uplifted by the realization that true friendship can withstand any distance. Finally, the time came for Lily's family to leave. Max and Lily hugged tightly, promising to write letters and share their daily adventures through pictures and stories. They waved goodbye with hopeful smiles on their faces. As Max walked back home, a sense of peace washed over him. He now understood the importance of goodbyes. They were not just sad moments, but opportunities to show gratitude, respect, and love to the people who touched our lives. From that day forward, Max embraced the goodbyes that life brought him. Whenever someone left, he made sure to express his appreciation and heartfelt farewell. Max knew that goodbyes were bittersweet, but they were also an essential part of life's journey. Question, what is the importance of saying goodbye? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Coping with Farewells In the small town of Willowville, there lived two best friends, Emma and Lily. They were inseparable and did everything together whether it was playing in the park, riding their bikes, or sharing secrets under the big oak tree, they were always by each other's side. One sunny day, Lily's parents decided to move to a different city because of her father's job. Emma was heartbroken when she heard the news. Tears filled her eyes, and sadness crept into her heart. How could she cope with such a big loss? As the moving day approached, Emma and Lily spent every moment together, cherishing their precious memories. They visited their favorite spots one last time, promising to keep them alive in their hearts. The park, the bike trails, and especially the big oak tree held countless memories that made their friendship so special. Knowing that they couldn't be together physically anymore didn't mean their friendship had to end. Emma and Lily decided to keep in touch through letters. They exchanged addresses and promised to write each other often, sharing stories about their new adventures and how they were coping with their farewells. The day came when Lily's family finally packed their bags and said their emotional goodbyes. It was a bittersweet moment as Emma stood at the bus stop, waving goodbye to her dearest friend. 
she couldn't help but feel a lump in her throat and a sense of emptiness in her heart. Weeks turned into months, and the letters between Emma and Lily became their lifeline. Whenever a letter arrived in the mailbox, Emma's face lit up with joy. She would hurry to her room, open the letter, and read it over and over again, imagining Lily's voice in her mind. In these letters, they shared everything, their dreams, their hopes, and even their fears. Emma would talk about her school adventures and how much she missed Lily. Lily, on the other hand, would describe her new friends and the exciting places she discovered. Through these letters, they found solace in knowing that their friendship was still strong, even though they were miles apart. Emma soon realized that the sadness of Lily's departure had started to fade away. Every time she read one of Lily's letters, the memories they created together flooded back, reminding her of the joy they shared. Emma's heart felt lighter as she realized that saying goodbye didn't mean losing someone forever, it meant embarking on a new chapter filled with growth and discovery. Years passed, and Emma and Lily continued to keep in touch through letters. Though they made new friends and had different paths, their bond remained unbreakable. The letters became a treasure trove of memories, a reminder of the enduring friendship they had built since they were little girls. As life moved forward, Emma and Lily managed to visit each other during holidays and vacations. They would spend hours talking, laughing, and creating new memories together. It was like they never missed a beat, as if they had never been apart. The importance of friendship, the power of memories, and the strength of keeping in touch became lessons that Emma and Lily cherished throughout their lives. Emma realized that coping with farewells wasn't always easy, but with love and the commitment to staying connected, it was possible to keep the spirit of friendship alive forever. Question How can we deal with the sadness of goodbyes? Check the video description for the answer.